YouTube. Uh, the passenger side wheel bearing's gone, uh, so we'll be changing that today. Just gonna clean this whole area up, it is properly disgusting. Just so stuff's a bit nicer to work with. Right, to get access, we need to take off the drop link, the uh, anti roll bar, the caliper, and the whole hub. So the whole hub comes out, and then we need to press out the old bearing, pressing the new one. Just gonna uh, grease everything up. Firstly though, we need to undo the axle. Right, next, uh, 13, to take off the caliper. That looked like it rounded it, that's not good. Right, I don't think you can see too well, but this uh, Torx has decided to round off. So what I've done, I've undone the uh, hub bolt there. I'm going to try and push it down and see if it'll come off. Like, without taking this lower arm off. See if I can then manoeuvre the axle out. We'll see. Right, I managed to knock it off. <coughs> I think I might be able to pull the axle out now. Just need to take off, I think this is the ABS. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get somewhere. With some extensions. <coughs> and a few little joiners and that. I managed to get this nut out here. So hopefully that should just push through now. I managed to get it off. Uh, the caliper bolts have been rounded off, so I've had to keep the caliper on there, I had to take the brake disc off, but you can tell well, it's grinding, kind of spins about it sometimes, and yeah, it's gone. <laughs> had a little bit of a breakthrough, I've hammered a smaller size 12 onto it, and I've loosened one of them. Uh, yeah, probably gonna hammer it on the other one. Hopefully loosen the other one, get it off. So this is my little system at the moment. <laughs> Twang that on there. Give it a few. Get it off. See if the actual size works. Whee! I've just got it in the vice to uh smash out the hub and you can tell really now just how much play that thing has got. Right, got the disc off, on to the main event. The only way I can get this to work, I've got that head being held by this little knuckle here, and I've got a metre and a half extension on some wall grips, and that's the only way this is getting pressed out. It has moved a little bit, I don't know, you won't be able to see now really, but it is slowly going. 
Yes, boys, we're out. That's what it should look like. Right, we're now set up to press the new bearing through. Uh, yeah, hopefully it goes in smoothly. <laughs> got to do now is figure out how I'm going to take this off of the uh, hub, whatever this bit's called. Uh, yeah, most people cut it. I haven't really got the tools to cut it here, so I'm gonna maybe try and chisel it off. We'll see. Now, I wouldn't advise anyone else to do this, uh, <laughs> but this cuts through six mil steel, and I reckon with the right tools, we could nip it off quite easily. It's a little tester. I reckon I'll go for it. It's just going to be loud. Just uh, plug in my ears so I don't deafen myself. Going to get a hoodie as well so it doesn't. Right. If I'm sniffling a lot, it's literally because I've just got over a cold slash man flu. So, yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. damage as I thought it would. Hitting a knuckle a bit there as well, I might try and think of another way. Whilst I wait for the Dremel to charge, uh, these are from the caliper. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to I've got some here that are the same size, uh, same size threads anyway. I'm gonna just measure these out, uh, make a little cut along here. So I've got some custom sized bolts I guess. <laughs> What I'm going to do now is to quickly mount them up to the bracket because <coughs> uh, they only sit like a... Well, they don't go in all the way, basically. They go to the end, then stop. I think the thread stops because that would then allow that... Well, stop that from going on the, uh, the brake disc. Solid. Sweet. Right, so I grinded it down this much. Uh, I was ready to give up, to be honest, even though I can't because like my vehicles are in the middle of work. Uh, yeah, then got this little pin hammer made, I think it's called. Gave it a few knocks and it split it. And now it's moving, uh, if you hit it. So I reckon I can get it off now. Hopefully I'll get the magic moment on uh, on camera when it comes off. That has taken me about two 
fucking hours. together it's supposed to be like that right now I've got to clear up all this mess uh, good news though bearing works it's all fine no noises a success, I guess, and got clean all this up as well. Right, we're all finished up. <sighs> Sorry if that was a kind of all over the place video, and excuse the beard as well. I've uh, <laughs> I've lost my trimmer, so I'm just gonna grow it out. Yeah, sorry uh, if that was kind of all over the place. It was uh, like eight hours altogether. It was quite long. I just wanted to crack on with a lot of it, so that's why there's probably a silly amount of. Uh, time lapses and stuff what is the light doing but yeah uh the next video i still need to do a reveal for the car but <laughs> you've seen it a million times but i'll do a review at some point the next one is to try and fix the throttle body not fix the throttle body uh clean it out see if there's any issues with that because it idles a little bit weird at times uh i'll probably try and do that quite soon actually so it's a quick little job uh yeah so i'll catch you then Thank you.